<coughs> Hello everybody, how are you doing? Sorry it's been so long since I made my last video. I think it's been literally about four months now since the last one I made. I've just had uh, very little to talk about. Oh, and my cats have all come to see what's going on. Anytime I make any sort of noise, they all get curious. Hold on. That's a little parsnip. She was the kitten from the previous video. She's getting much bigger now. Ooh. Now we're going to be off center, aren't we? All good. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they always get excited whenever I start doing anything and they all come to see what's going on. But yeah. So yeah, it's been um, a little while since I've made a video, simply because I've had nothing to talk about mod-wise, whatsoever. I still haven't got round to ordering another piece for my nostrils to get them back up to four again. I um, I think I mentioned in the last video, I managed to lose one of the pieces. I don't know where it's gone. It's it, it might have fallen out down down the down the drain in the shower or something. I haven't got a clue where it's gone, which is a little bit irritating, but it's okay because. The same place I order my nostril jewellery from is the same place I'm planning on fi finally ordering my last septum piece. I'll get a nice back dental del del piece of that made. So um, when I finally get around to sorting that out, I will also order a piece of jewellery for my septum. But other than that, literally nothing at all has happened. I've been doing very, very little mod-wise. I've been focusing on other little bits and bobs I've got going on at the moment. So. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd make a real quick little little impromptu video, just because today I um I went and randomly got a little tattoo done. Like it's it's been a long it's been at least two years since my last since I'd had any of this done. And just because of the whole COVID thing and all that going on, I um haven't been anywhere to get any more done. But now things are opening up and things are sort of halfway settling down again. Um one of the tattoo studios in town it's the same same place that I got these done, but not the same person. But she um, she put up a little thing on Facebook the other day with some flash, and she was just doing some quick little flash stuff today. And Anna wanted to get something done. I think she got a little like a little witch's hat with some flowers on it done. And one of the other things Anna she me because she knew I'd like was a little mushroom, or a little couple of mushrooms. So that was all very last minute and wasn't planned at all. But um, yeah, went rushing into town this morning to get that all done, and it's literally been done about an hour ago. So we're still, so we're still all covered in wraps and stuff. But let's have a look. Uh, yeah, there you go. If I can just about stand in the right place. Easier said than done. And so it's a little bit awkward to see at the moment, obviously because of the wrap on it. But it's just a little collection of mushrooms. So I thought that was a fun little tattoo to get. So. Like I say, it's the first tattoo other than, well, my nipples and my arms that I've had done in ages. So, yeah, it was, um, it went pretty well. It wasn't too sore at all. I was, I was, I was a little bit nervous going in because I'm still not massively experienced with tattoos. And I was a little, not worried, but I was a little anxious just to, just in case it was going to be tender at all. But, no, nothing to worry about whatsoever. Got through it quite comfortably, which I was quite pleased about. Sorry, my cats are being a bit weird. I think it's because I'm talking, they're all getting a bit excited wondering what's going on, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, um, so yeah, really happy with that. I'll, um, I'll give it a week or two, let it, st let it settle down a bit more, and then I'll, sh I'll, I'll post another quick video with the wrap taken off, obviously, just so I can give you a much proper, much better look at it. But yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick, and um, been having a few little thoughts about what I want to get done tattoo-wise going forwards. As I've mentioned before, I'm not massively into tattoos. As ridiculous as that sounds with all this going on, but I'm not massively into tattoos. But um, I've been giving it a little bit of thought just because I've got a bit of time to kill at the moment. And I definitely need to go sort, sort out with Sam about getting my arms finished. I think I mentioned before what I'll be doing is definitely finishing the rest of my arms and my shoulders solid black with the, uh, the Anarchist A on one shoulder and the Bitcoin B on the other one. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. But um, as well as that, something that kind of ties into this is that so an idea I've had for a little while is once I've got both arms and shoulders completely blacked out, continuing sort of the, just a solid black line, it's gonna be awkward, <laughs> a solid black line on each side down to a middle, so it creates almost like a V. And then from there down, from, sort of from there down, all the way down through the middle of my stomach, just a big solid black line. So if you can imagine, hold on, if you can imagine there'll be a big black line through the middle here, and then each side, 
my plan would be to um, have sort of a theme on each side. And so I guess this side is going to be mushrooms. <laughs> so that'll be a little bit of fun working forwards, working towards that. So it probably won't be too much super soon, but I will... Yeah, I'm pretty happy about getting the little mushrooms down on that side. And I will, um, I'll probably just start obviously with that and slowly grow out from there and cover it with more and more mushrooms and mushroom related stuff on that side. So we've got Gwen up here now. So yeah, probably um, start there and work, work more out and get lots of little mushroom related things on that side. I still haven't got a clue what I'm going to do on the other side, but that's all, um, that's all stuff to think about further down the line. And so I like things being quite symmetrical, so with the black line down the centre and then on each side being a set theme, I think that'll balance quite well. Uh, yeah, that was um, that was it really. So <laughs> tattoo wise, that's pretty much it at the moment. I'm um, other mod wise, like I say, I still need to sort out ordering another another pet, another plug for my nostrils, and I will probably at the same time order a 26 millimeter piece of my septum. And that'll be the last size I go up to. I'm even a little bit nervous about doing that because of the because of the thin spot inside my nose. But I'll take it. I'll take it steady and see what happens. And um, my earlobes, I have been talking to a company about getting some larger pieces made. I'm going to go next size up for me will be 80mm, so it'll be nice to be back at another big round number again. And um, I don't even remember how long they've been at this size, it's been quite a while now. This is, a, for some reason, this ear is a little bit tight today, I'm not really sure why. But as you can see on that side at least, there's a nice big gap there. I think I can almost get my finger through it. <laughs> so there's a nice big gap on that side. So they are nice and loose and just chilled out at the moment. So fingers crossed when I finally get 80 millimeters sorted out, it'll, they'll, it'll slide straight in nice and easy. But um, the company I've been speaking to, I've sent them a couple of emails and we had a bit of a back and forth discussing what I wanted and then they just gone quiet. So we'll see if they actually finally get back to me, I'll be able to order them. <laughs> if not, I'll just have to go to someone else. I'm not, I'm not wasting time I'm not wasting time sitting around when I could be just be going to someone else and getting stuff done. So, but yeah, that's pretty much about it at the moment. I think nothing else particularly exciting to say. Um, slightly different camera setup, so hopefully I've been I've got a little screen over here. So hopefully I'm um, I've been in the shot most of the time. Let me have Parson again. What are you doing, lady? I'll show you. I'll show you how big she's gotten. That's the little kitten from the last video. I'll put you down. I don't think she liked that much. The little kitten from the last video, so she's um, more or less a full size cat now. She's probably about three quarter size full cat now, so. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's happy, and all the other cats are, are nice and happy as well. So, yeah, I think that's, that's basically everything. Hopefully that wasn't too much of a waffly randomly video. And like I say, maybe in, um, I'll give it maybe two weeks. And then I'll pop up another little video once it's a, a lot more healed and settled in, so you can have a proper look without the without the plastic on. I'll give you one more quick look. Oop. I'm in screen. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. <laughs> see, I've literally just got in. You can see all the the ink and stuff all around here still. But yeah. Don't know how well you can see that with the shine from the the stuff over the top of it. But yeah. That's that. So hopefully going forwards we'll get more mushroomy bits all around here and around the side and a little bit lower though. Yeah, there we go. That'll do for now, throw off for now, and um yeah, speak to you all again soon. Hopefully this video came out right. How do I turn this camera off?